Do you know what you would do in the event of a campus shooter? Do your friends know? Does your roommate know? I decided to ask, why don't more students know what to do if there is one? I think part of the problem is too, like there's only so much you can plan for. Uh, in the PowerPoint that's on here, it ends at 2012, but it gives you the rundown of all the school shootings that happened on college campuses for like 10 years. And they, they had security forces, right? But these, these things happen in seconds. Um, I am really nervous that there's a gun store <laughs> a block from campus. That makes me very nervous, that, that level of access so close to campus. So what is the plan? I decided to ask Chief of Police Larry Banizak to see what would the campus do if there is a campus shooter. We have three main principles that we talk about throughout our training programs, and the first one is to run away, to get out of danger. If running away is not possible, then we talk about hiding and barricading. And then the third and last resort is to attack the shooter or fight the shooter. In other words, pick up whatever you have, throw it as hard as you can at that person's face. No matter where you're at, whether you're on campus, whether you're off campus, anywhere in the world, run, hide and barricade, and fight as an absolute last resort. This is Justin Jordan reporting for Otterbein TV. For more information on campus safety, please visit the Campus Safety tab on Otterbein's website.